Okay, so right now I'm just going to show you some of the, like, really, I don't know, you could say really rare stuff I found at this wall, right, um, two days ago. It took me three hours to look through all this guy's stuff, yet, he had, had boxes and boxes. I got, there's a whole bunch of stuff I didn't get, but I think I got the best stuff, so. Probably missed stuff, but you'll probably have it there next week, because it's been two weeks in a row this guy's had stuff, so. Okay, right here, I got this, uh, the Cuddle Cart 2 for the 7800, which allows you to play ROMs using an MMC card, which I don't currently have, so I'm going to have to buy me one of those. And this is an audio jack right here, so you can stream um, games through audio. I don't know how to do that yet, I'm looking for a program. To do that, but can't figure it out. I used to know one, but I can't remember it all. But basically, you plug an audio cord into your computer, and then you turn the like Atari ROMs into a uh, wave format. Then stream it. It's just like the old game I used to play on cassettes. Turns it into like the beeps and boots and like dial up. And then it loads in here, and you can play the game. But the easier way to do it is just get an MMC card. But like I said before, I don't have one of those yet. So there's that. Found this. Vectrex Arcade System Boxing. It's a homebrew game. I think it's like from around 2003. It's still brand new. I haven't tried it out yet. And my Vectrex set. That's pretty cool. And then that's when I found... I also found... All these Pippin controllers, I found that Pippin, found the manuals, found this modem which has an interesting note on it, so you can read. Sample for evaluation only, this device has not been approved by Federal Communication Commission, this device is not and may not be offered for sale, lease, or sold, or leased until the approval of the FCC has been obtained. And then, it's weird, is. I've never seen a Bandai Pippin modem like this. It's got this weird crease in it right here. So yeah, pretty interesting. Then I got, I found another. This is just a Nat World modem for the Pippin. And then I got this. I don't even know how I found this. I must have grabbed it by accident, but I got it still. It's a Pippin game. No idea what. But Pippin games are super hard to find. So, I'm glad I found it. And, uh, put this thing back in the door. Then I found this cool adapter. It's brand new. It allows you to use a Super Nintendo controller on 3DO. It's pretty cool. I haven't tried it yet. Probably do that sometime. Then I found some rare cassettes for a system that's like very rare, very rare, but I don't really like it that much. It's pretty dumb. Just like the Action Max, it just plays off of cassettes. Found that one. Then I found a whole box. Oh, here's a Pippin game. I already had this Pippin game. Get that out of the way. Whole box of other Interactive Vision cassettes. So that's pretty cool, because these cassettes are very hard to find nowadays. The system's hard to find. He had a system there. It was in the box, but the box is all messed up, so... And I didn't really care that much, because I already have one, and I don't like that system that much anyways. So, on to what I have next. Then I found this. It's brand new. A real Panasonic 3DO mouse. So that's pretty cool. Found this. Um, like the demos that came with the Pippin. Found this. If anyone could tell me what it is, that would be nice. I don't know what it is. It's for Amiga, I believe. Amiga. Okay, it's in this bag. Here's the manual. This is what it is. Advanced Amiga Analyzer. So I do not know what this thing does. I don't even have an Amiga. He had a zillion Amiga computers there, but I didn't really want to get one. And then here's a really rare thing. It's upside down. This is the SX1 Paravision. 
add-on for the Amiga CD32. What this does is you plug it into the Amiga CD32's expansion bay and basically allows you to turn it into a full-fledged 1200 Amiga 1200. So that's pretty cool. This is pretty rare. Found this baby. Knew exactly what it was. Then I got this, a Modula 2 successor to Pascal Atari Developer's Version Special Features listed on back. And then I don't know about what that is. Don't know what that is. Then I found the keyboard to the Atari XE. I already had the Atari XE, but I found the keyboard, which was nice. Then, this is probably my favorite thing. I found all these Bandai Pippin games, which are like impossible to find. This one's brand new. It's squished, but what can you do? They're still brand new, at least. I never even knew there was a Home Depot Pippin game. It's probably dumb. And then I found another Pippin game. Pretty cool. Found another Pippin game. I really don't know what this is. These aren't even games, they're like stupid programs. And then this is probably like the only game out of it when I'm just showing you, which is probably dumb. Gus goes to the Cookie Carnival. So yeah. And then I found this thing. I have no idea what this thing's called. But what it is, is it's, you plug this into your, um... Atari 2600, then this cable goes to here, put a whole bunch of games in here, then you change which game you want. So that's pretty cool. I guess this is if you're super lazy, too lazy to plug in a new cartridge, you're just like, ugh, press this button. Okay, we're going to play that game now. So that's weird. Not exactly sure how rare it is, I imagine it's pretty rare since I've never even seen one of those before. And then, I got something, not too rare, but it's pretty cool still. I got the Intellivision keyboard with the computer add-on, I see. And then, oh, I found the CDTV, but then I found the controller for it, which is pretty cool. Works pretty good, I was playing SimCity on the CDTV. <laughs> I found some CDTV games, too. They're in the CD caddies, which is what some older computers used. Brand new Commodore CD TV wireless and mouse. Oh, and here's another. I left this over here. Every educational system had to have Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia. This one's brand new also. And then, uh, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll be able to find it next week. But I can't believe I found the manual. To the Turbo Graphics pack for the Laser Active. I'm hoping it's there because these things are expensive. I got the manual at least. That's better than nothing. So then next I got I found this brand new still, Laser Active Special Edition Laser Video Magazine. And then I found this. This is brand new also. Pioneer ADP One 3D Goggle Adapter. This allows you to use two. 3D goggles at once. And then I think this is probably the best thing I found. Brand new Pioneer Laser Active 3D goggles for the Laser Active. I don't know how much this thing's worth, but I know they're pretty rare. So, that's about it. Well, actually, that's not all I found. Like, found those Pippins up there. Found that one that was in that drawer over there. There's a mess in there, but I found, tell you what else I found real fast. A lot of it's outside, because I don't have enough room, but I found, um, uh, two Ballet Astro Cage, Astro Cades, two Fairchild Channel S, three CDIs, two Philips CDI 220s, and one Developer CDI 605T. Um, a whole bunch of Atari games, um, trying to think what else, can't remember, found an Atari 2600 Heavy Sixer, two Intellivision Model 2s, 
Um, Montezuma's Revenge for the Master System. Two copies of uh, Alex Kidd and Miracle World. These are all complete. Whole bunch of brand new CDI games. Mm. And I got some other things. Oh yeah, and I have one more thing to show you. I do not know what this thing is. I think it's a European Master System game, but I don't know why it would have this on it. It's pretty beat up, but this is weird. Hints and tips. 055-22314. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. If under 18, ask parent permission. IDS. 70 cents per minute. 70 cents per minute. Now why would it say that if this was European? I don't know what this is. I gotta plug it into Master System to find out. It says Sonic the Hedgehog 2 here. But then why would it have a stupid thing right here in the front like this? I don't know what this is. If I find out more, I'll make a video or something. So, uh, 